The Tropicana officially ends its 67 year run on the Las Vegas Strip, one of the oldest properties remaining from back in the day, say pre mega resort days. In the overnight hours at 3 a.m., all the casino operations were shut down. By noon, all the food and drink services had stopped, and then at 1 p.m., it was done. The Tropicana was shut down, they padlocked the front doors. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera in for Latoya Silman. Today, a historic day for the Las Vegas Strip. And for many, it is a somber day saying goodbye. We have your Tropicana team coverage tonight. Las Vegas was once a mob town, and with nearly 70 years on the Strip, there is no question the Tropicana has seen a thing or two. Our Denise Rosh is standing by with a look at organized crime ties to Tropicana. We'll start with News 3's Kristen Drummond. She's live down at the property tonight, and you were there for that final moment, the ceremonial ending this afternoon. It certainly was an emotional moment, Jim and Marie, as team members walked out of these doors behind me to a crowd cheering them on just right outside the entrance. Now, I'm going to step out where you can see four of these doors are now chained with a lock on them, signifying the end of the Tropicana. No one can go through that entrance again ever to gamble or even stay in the hotel. But before that moment, as I mentioned, team members walked out of the doors for that final goodbye and to hug one another as we say farewell. So certainly some cheers there, definitely some tears as well as you see a couple hundred employees participating in that moment from holding signs that say thank you Las Vegas to filming the nearby crowd watching the general manager lock the doors. Now some locals and tourists cheered them on. One man I spoke with says he came from Colorado for the closure. Another person I talked to walked out the Tropicana doors with the last drink ever poured at Robert Irvine's restaurant. The Strip's third oldest casino will no longer welcome guests as demolition preparation start to build a proposed Major League Baseball Stadium home to the Oakland Athletics. Now, some team members I spoke with say they're not just carrying the memories with them. No, one man has a gift bag with the signatures of the people he says helped make his career here. Uh, all the names on here are gifts, all gifts. They're, they're part of my journey and they're the reason why where I'm at from being a porter to a manager. What was it like walking outside of the Tropicana entrance for the last time? Emotional, emotional and man, a little bit nervous just to just to see it, man. Now, another team member I spoke with tells me she's going to retire after 24 years of working here at the Tropicana. She doesn't want to go anywhere else, so she is checking out of hospitality. Now, going forward, there will be limited staff here at the property, primarily maintenance, security, as well as engineering, as they prepare the building for demolition, which we are anticipating is likely going to be in October, but certainly a very sad day for so many after such a colorful and wonderful history here on the Las Vegas Strip.